Hi there, I'm going to just do a quick comparison to the the Whitner Augsburg Chimmes, which is what I've got on my setup at the minute. This is the Augsburg and the SAS, which is going to end up on my violin. So that's the SAS. I'm just going to show you the differences in height because this is the 35, this is the tallest one to do. I've got quite a long net, I'm quite tall, I'm about 6 foot 4. Um, so that's the SAS and that is quite a bit taller than the Augsburg. I'll show you in a minute when I get to it. That's This is the, the Augsburg, so you've got two little screws there. Clamp down. These are the tallest feet that come with it. I think you can get the next size up, I think they're 10. I think they're 10 mil. These are 8 or 6, the tallest that are on this. So that's that. So what I'm going to do is just pop that next to that so you can get an idea on how much taller it is than what's already there. In fact, let's go this side. Just trying to be a bit gentle with it. So just an idea on the height differences there. So you see the height difference? The SAS is quite a bit taller. It's a little bit taller. I think if the Augsburg had bigger feet it would be quite a bit taller. So obviously that's not properly mounted, but you can see the height there. It's slightly taller, which will probably be an advantage to me. So if I put this on the other one, I'll just have another look at this side, just to see where we're at. So that, I know it's not a great angle, but you can see that the difference in height. So if I put it back to this side, we'll have another look. So this is the SAS, this is the taller, the, the, the taller SAS one. If I turn that to the side, you can see it hovers over quite a bit. So, I'm going to mount this properly in a bit, but that's to give you an idea on the heights. You see the heights there? It's quite a bit different. Um, so they've both got a nice shape really. I quite like this. It, obviously I'm a novice myself, so it's just an idea because my neck sometimes hurts and my shoulder. Probably because I'm clamping down too much or I'm having to come too far down. So I've used this so far. I'm really happy with this, but I'm trying to get my, my setup right. So using this, and I use a Wolf uh, 40 Secundo, um, but I seem to need to go up with this. So that's why I've ordered this to go on. Um, they've both got a nice cup. See, there's a nice, there's a nice shape to that. I've done another video on this, so there's quite a nice little cup to that. It's got a good shape. Um, and then this one. That's the Augsburg, so that's the Augsburg. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to swap them. So I'll do another video another time. Well, that's it. Hopefully that's helped to give you an idea. That's the tallest SAS and that's the tallest Whitner. There's not many reviews out there to show the difference. So this is taller than this, unless this comes with, unless the Augsburg comes with uh, taller feet. That's just to give you an idea of the difference. So the SAS is taller. And I'm going to now mount that onto this. So while I'm here, I might as well take this off and show you what it looks like when it's off the uh, Augsburg. So let's spin these on. And this is the centre mounted, whereas the SAS isn't centre mounted. So that is the Augsburg off. So you've got these little rubber feet that come with it. See these little rubber feet there? They come with it and they sit on there which is good for protecting your violin. I've been happy with it, it's just that I think the height needs to be a little bit taller for me, personally. So that's the, the bottom of it. And that's the back of it. It's pretty simple, there's two screws there. They screw into the base, then you clip the feet onto the back. And then that, they just clip in there. And that is that. And now that's off. Let's have a little look. Where is this going to sit? So I've got this on. It's a little rock. Okay. Okay, that's quite nice. It looks quite nice. It comes with a little tool to sit it on. And I'm going to have a little play with it myself. So, let's have a little look. Get it over the tail. I think I've got it right there. It does have a tilt a tilt option, so what I'm going to do is place that there and just gently tighten that up and just see see how that's looking. Okay, it's got little plastic feet that come on it, so 
it might, a lot of people say that it looks like it's going to cause damage but I'm guessing if you just gentle with it and uh, turn it up gently a little bit by bit I'm just going to see if there's anything else comes with it like any soft padded feet or anything no it's got a little bit of foam in the bag I'm guessing that's nothing um, so that cost me 38 English pounds for the uh, for the SAS so we're going to give this a quick, a quick look at this I'm just going to make sure I've turned it on enough I'm not going to go too tight with it okay that's on um, I'll just give that another little twist because I don't want to go too tight with it so I've not really gone over tight with that still a little bit of Okay. Also, I've not got my my um, my rest on yet, but that's a look at how it's, how it's going to look. Eventually, you can tilt it either way, which I'll probably have a play with in a bit. Um, well, that's it so far. Going to uh, give that a go. Um, that's the SAS. So that easy. I put it on within a couple of seconds. So I'm going to just uh, maybe have a go at adjusting it off camera. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.